now for the most famous words in motorsport. Drivers, start your engines! Looking down to the line, green flag goes in the air. Two by two is a head off into turn number one, and already they're getting racy just past the start finish line. He's going to try to pull this line job. He can't get there. They touch. Welcome to another edition of Flying Aces iRacing Diecast Review. Today we're going to go over the 2005 Daytona 500 winner Jeff Gordon and the DuPont Flames Chevy Monte Carlo. Uh, I was at that race. It was my first Daytona 500. I'll always remember it. It was great racing. I remember him doing donuts at the start finish line. I was down towards turn one and just thinking, wow, that is unbelievable to, to be watching in person. So uh, they did a really good job with this one, and uh, we're getting ready to uh, review it. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at is the actual sleeve and box, uh, the outside sleeve. And this one has been kept in mint condition. It's fantastic. It is the 2005 Monte Carlo, one of 1,524 Daytona Race Win version. And, of course, the boxes for the elites back in those days were second to none absolutely wonderful got the base uh, the plastic inside you can actually shut it elite I wish they still did this but I guess it cost too much money now these elites back in those days back when NASCAR was exploding in popularity they were probably one 119 124 for a regular just version but you'll see why with the detail on these things all right uh, let's get down to the car itself uh, if you don't own a Jeff Gordon from this era, I would suggest you do because the cameras really don't do it justice. The red and the blue, I mean, it really pops out. It does a really good job uh, with the colors on these. It's kind of mind-boggling, to be honest with you. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Take a look here at the DuPont Flames Lays. As you can see, little black spots all over the car from the rubber. Not a lot of damage. If you get damage at Daytona, we all know you're not going to win, so not a lot of damage. Jeff Gordon above the door, all the associate sponsors down the side. Got a little bit of uh, race rubber. Uh, looks like a little champagne maybe, tire wear there, a little tire rub. Very faint, as you can see. Uh, down the front, now you got a lot of rubber on the front end of this car. And the tape is cool too, the, the bright orange tape that doesn't match the red. I always like that. Uh, but yeah, you do have some, some uh, definite... Uh, rubber build up on the front of this car of course 500 miles at Daytona will do that to any car the hood DuPont down the right side same you're going to have a lot of rubber build up down the sides a lot of rubber on the numbers rubber on the DuPont same on this side with the B post and Jeff Gordon above the door, Quaker State, DuPont, Lays. A lot of rubber build up even down the sides. Now on the back, very little rubber build up. You got just a little bit of damage down here at the bottom of the car. DuPont Automotive finishes. In the back, you got the tethers, really, really detailed. Man, they went all out back in the day with these cars. Unbelievable. Unbelievable detail, I should say. 24 on the top, a little bit of rubber build up there, and of course the bottom, as always, excellent detail in these. Give me just a moment, we'll open up the hood and let you see inside the hood. And as you can see, uh, tethers, braces, uh, I wish you could see, I wish I had a flashlight or something I could shine down in there for you to see the detail in that engine, but man, you do not get detail like that anymore, that's for sure. But golly, what a great diecast this is. Uh, I always like to try to collect the ones that I've been to. Of course, I've been to close to 80 of them, 80 cup races, so it's kind of hard to get all of them. But the ones I really remember the most and the ones I really liked and enjoyed, and they, if they made them, I like to try to try to collect them. This is one of those. Daytona 2005. Uh, guys, we do appreciate you watching the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them. And, uh, man, we thank everybody for the support. So... Uh, we will catch you guys later. Thank you.